Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Today we're going to look at our Heltec new released Mesh Node T114. Okay, right in my hand, you can see the board. This is a Type C connector. We have two buttons. One is user, and another one is reset button. Right here, you can see it's the blue one stuff. It's the Bluetooth antenna. Just beside it, you can see the IPX connector. It is used for NORA antenna. Under the plastic shell, you can see a 1.15 inch TFT display. Here, you can connect with the pins, which you can use it as a development board. And you can see here is the solar panel connector. You can connect with solar panel as well. Here is a socket for GPS module. You can just uh, uh, connect with GPS module, use that GPS development board as well, which is compatible with the mesh testing. Okay, here is the NORA antenna. Let's just connect it with the board and test everything. We have the open source for this board as well. You can see how to gain RF. It is based on Nordic RF 52840, this, this chip. And the installation for this board is just as a, uh, similar with the ESP32. Now let's just follow the instructions and step by step. We have the Arduino hardware under the file in the file of the Haltech. Now we will create a folder under the uh, directory of the ESP32 and clone it and name it as an NRF5052. And then we will go back to the AFR52 file and double click the get.exe file. And now we will download all the demand tools. It may take some time that is uh, based on your own network connections. After download, the window will close automatically. And finally, we were done with the development environment. Now the mesh nod is now available on MeshTastic, the official website. You can just download from the its latest stable version right here and download. It may take some time for downloading the firmware. During this, this period of time, we can just attempt to download the firmware through the Arduino. This is just the same as the common serial port for USB CDC mode. Now you can see the NRA servers in the development environment. And right here is the server number. You can see right here. And on the board, here is the USB server number. And we have the, some examples in the, in the development environment. Now let's just do some time more tests for downloading the firmware. Uh, and for example, we just uh, start from by example by how to light up the screen. For this process, it is just the same with the uh, common Arduino development board and there's no so any differences. Just plug in and choose the right development board terminal number and now you can just download and then it will just compile and download the firmware. The nutshell, this is the demo of how to night at the screen. Another interesting to share is about the mesh nodal. Uh, the, the, the development board, it can just uh, support the USB CDC mode. Uh, it means that you can just uh, uh, simulate a flash drive in your computer. And let's just direct drag the UF2 file firmware right here and now it's it's running the way to enter this mode is just a double click the reset button and now in your computer you can find a flash drive of 30 megabytes that is just a storage flash storage room of the nrf4 just right here at this moment we just uh, drag the firmware named as UF2 file to the device and then where well, it's restart and uh, you cannot even see the uh, device because it's just running and the mesh testing firmware is now it's running as well. When it comes to its no power characteristic of the mesh node, under certain circumstances it consumes one third of the power consumption with the uh, ESP32 when it's running. And plus we have the normal chip inside, it will serve as the best choice 
to work as the carry on neural node as well. Let's simply choose one of the example of lighting up the TFT display from its neural one developing environment. And here you need to change the channel as the default channel is the zero to seven. And you need to change the working fre frequency band as it's uh, 950. We have already set up the gateway and now just uh, download the firmware and run the example. It will send a message of a hexadecimal number of 0, 1, 2, 3. At the very beginning of the download, it will enter the boot node mode. After the download is completed, it will be operating automatically. And now you can see the network join. Let's just reset the board. And now let's explore how to join the network through Nora one OTA. From the serial port, you can see it's printing the message of its own. And this is the whole process of the join network. And now you can see the network joint. And now you can see it's sending the messages of the 0, 1, 2, 3 through the gateway and the server by Nora one practical. Now let's dive into uh, its no power consumption characteristics. When testing its no power consumption, we need to unplug the USB cable and connect the board to the DC power supply through the battery wire reason why we choose the DC power supply is that we just record the current working current between the negative and the positive pole of the development board. The battery with the voltage range from the 3.7 to 4.2 volts is perfect for the power supply. And you can check the real time power consumption from the monitor. It's 12 mini ampere when the green is on, and you can see grass. That's the um, PX of the Nora, and it's about uh, 130 mini ampere. And you can see a rel relatively no curves. That is the deep sleep mode with the uh, power consumption of the 11 to 12 micro ampere. And the board will be awakened every 15 seconds, and then where it will send the Nora signal once again. And now you can see it's about 10 micro ampere when uh, the screen is on, and then it will then turn to the sleep, deep sleep mode, and then you can just uh, repeat the whole process. You can see the whole no power consumption is pretty good. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.